Hey everyone and welcome back to another code.org video. Today we are working our way through lesson 40 which it says build your project. Hopefully by this point you've done some thinking about what type of project you want to do but in case you haven't or in case you're stuck I'm posting this video of some examples for what I'm going to show with my project. Okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is basically rip off completely what we've done in some of the previous lessons. So I'm just going to create a function and I'm going to call this function square and this function just draws a square uh, let's see what parameters we don't I don't think we need a parameter I'll just delete that parameter okay yes okay so square and we'll hit close functions edit this function and boy this is complex now isn't it alright so let's add a parameter name parameter I don't know let's delete that parameter I know I've just done the same thing twice but we're gonna leave that one okay so and then we'll put in some actions here move forward by we'll say let's create a variable set well we need to close this first. All right. Let's go into our variables and we will say set new variable to set counter to one. Can I get some math here? Here we go. To one and then we'll go back into our function and we will edit it and we will say move forward by counter pixels so it says one pixel initially so we're gonna set that a little bit bigger I think we'll change that to 50 um, so basically ultimately I want to draw a square right move forward by counter pixels and turn right by 90 degrees that's what I need to do turn right by 90 degrees and we're going to use a repeat loop to do this repeat four times. Now let's see if this works when I run it. Set counter to, we'll say 50, and run it. So he draws a square, perfect. But we want that square to be more towards, well, actually I don't care where it is. All right, so set counter to 50, move forward, counter pixels. And then we're going to go ahead and go back into our square. And after we have run, our square we're going to change counter to let's see where do we go variables set counter to variables uh, math where's our counter counter oops Ugh. set counter to counter times 1.50 so that's going to make it one and a half times larger every time it draws a square so now I'm going to bring in a repeat loop here maybe oh reset okay repeat let's say 10 times we'll let it repeat and we're gonna let this run so you can see we drew oops I zoomed way out there a square so instead let's set counter initially to 5 and this time we'll say repeat 10 times cool so there we go so we drew that um, so you can see each time you know it's increasing by a factor of 1.5 and then what I want to do is turn left by 90 degrees and then repeat this again let's see repeat loops repeat this we'll just say twice so we did that ooh 
Ah, I see. So we don't necessarily want to repeat. Well, actually we can if we put counter inside of this. So when it comes back and does this again, it'll set counter back to five. Cool, right? Okay. So then let's say repeat it four times. So it should fill the screen at this point with this like spider web appearance. Nifty, okay. So I kind of like that. And then why don't we go back, once it's done this four times, let's draw some triangles inside of this and shift it. Um, hmm, how do I want to shift it? Not by a lot, right? I don't, so, sorry, I'm thinking through this as I do this, which is what you guys should not do. You should plan it out in advance, but I'm just building it as we go. So let's build another function, and we will call this one triangle. And what does my function do? Draws a triangle. And let's, oh, we should have put some code in there. Doggone it. All right, let's go back and put some code in our function, in our triangle function. OK, so action move forward by. We will again say counter pixels. Where did it go? Variables counter pixels. And then it is 120 degrees, right? So turn left by 120 degrees. And then we need to repeat this three times so that it will draw the triangle for us. And let's just close that and bring in the triangle function again. Where did it go? Where did it go? Triangle. OK, so now it's going to draw the four squares, or the four sets of squares. And then it drew the, ah, yes, but tri or, uh, counter has been set to a large value. So before we do this, we again need to set counter to 5, which should not be a big deal, as long as I can remember how to do it. Oh, we have to reset every time. Set counter to... Ah, math to 5. Okay. Okay. And then we'll put triangle back in. And so it should, yeah, so it's going to draw a triangle in the middle there. So let's set it to 10. Still can't see the triangle, can we? Set triangle to 20, or set counter, I'm sorry, to 25. And then are we doing, move forward by counter pixels? Yeah, OK. So we can see a little tiny triangle there forming. All right, so then let's repeat our triangle function several times. Repeat this. That's how many times? We'll just say three times, right? It's because we have, or no. Yeah, we'll say three times. And then within triangle, we will then change. So we'll go back into our variables, and we will say set counter 2, and we will go into mathematics, and we will say counter times 2 close and let's run it so it drew slightly larger triangles let's repeat this 10 times oops not zero times 10 times okay maybe we should do one and a half times again instead of times two 1.5 All right, so I think that will work. And then in order to draw the same thing again, I believe we can just turn left by 90 degrees again. 
turn left 90 degrees. Now I might be wrong about this. 90 degrees. And I think I'm gonna have to actually split this into a two-part video. So after I conclude this portion, I will uh, I'll do the next portion, which is Sprite Lab, because I'm actually gonna have to spend a lot of time working through that one before I'm ready to share, so to speak. Because this video is getting long already, and that one's just gonna be even more boring. All right, so we will repeat this four times. And let's see, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, we need to set counter to 25 each time. That was our problem last time with the squares, too. So you can see there, you're already getting an interesting pattern forming. If you want to make it prettier, of course, you can play around with the brushes. So you could say set color random color every time. And then you can go brushes again. You can set color random color every time within square. So, you know, you're making some crazy looking stuff just right off the bat. Neat. You can change this instead of 90, you could do 30 degrees, and you could repeat this. Um, oops, we could repeat this how many times? So, 4 times 90 was 360. So, what times 30? is 360. Hmm, does anybody know? Does anybody know? 30 times 10 is 300. It's 12, people, it's 12. So we wanna repeat this 12 times. And we should get a really interesting looking spider web pattern going on. Yeah, there we go. Now it's looking weird. Okay, just the way I like it, nice and weird looking. Okay, cool. So that is, I think, where I'm going to stop this. And this would be a pretty good basic project for the artist version of your code.org project, is just to make you know, a unique pattern and play with the colors and do different things like that. And then uh, you know, you're incorporating your loops, you're incorporating functions, you're incorporating variables, you're incorporating lots of different things here. Um, you're even incorporating some mathematics and different things. You know, your teacher may have you want to use actions, brushes, loops, math, logic, functions, variables, and even comments so that you can say what your code is doing at any given point. Um, but other than that, you know, this this is a solid project, I would think, um, at, a, at a basic level. If you're in an upper middle school course or you're in a high school course and you're doing this, you're probably going to be required to do something more complex. But this is a great jumping off point, I think, for most people. So if this video helped you out, please leave a like. If you have questions about this video or suggestions uh, for other people, project ideas and things, go ahead and leave those down below. I'm pretty good at responding to them. And if I really like your comment, I will leave a like and give you a shout out. So I think I'm just going to stop rambling now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching again, and I will see you in the next video.